Yo, 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 what's going on Xbox and YouTube? Now, I finally got Goat Simulator for the Xbox One, as you guys can see. And I'm basically just going to run through what this game is all about and show you guys some pretty gnarly gameplay and the Easter eggs, of course. I will show you guys a couple of the Easter eggs that are found only on this map, as far as I know. So let's go ahead and jump into this stuff. Now, obviously the first thing that you're gonna see here, we're gonna do an Easter egg right off the bat. I am sitting here and I'm trying to get what's what's called the beacon. Now, the beacon was on top of that table before I knocked it over, but we are going to reset here with a nice little jump cut. And now we have the beacon. So, as you can see, it's placed right here on top of the table, but it's very difficult to get because your, your goat is so just, uncoordinated and yeah so we finally have picked it up now you're going to want to take this beacon all the way out into the middle of this field on this map and basically what you're going to be looking for is a post in the ground surrounded by what looks to be a crop circle now it should be on my left right around here somewhere here it is now once you put the beacon on there all you pretty much have to do is lick it once as far as i'm aware and just basically wait and a ufo will come and pick you up and bring you to a nice gnarly ass spot <laughs> so we're just going to sit here and wait for that ufo all right guys now as you can see the ufo is above me it's really hard to tell but you can see just by this there we go there is the ufo now what i'm going to do is just basically jump yep and now it's going to abduct us so it's going to bring us somewhere i'm not exactly sure at the moment oh there we go it's going to bring us into outer space now basically yep yeah, this is an achievement guys it's a hundred game gamer score it's basically to travel through or to space so there is one of the easter eggs for goat simulator but for those people who have never played goat simulator it is basically one of the most pointless low skill low low attention span games that you will ever play all you pretty much do in this game is run around and do shenanigans with your goat now there are tons and tons of easter eggs in this game and that's basically the objective is to see how many of these easter eggs you can find and in order to get your points up like you see in the bottom the bottom center of the screen you basically just have to do combos and do all kinds of tricks you can jump there's trampolines you can do backflips you can actually do a manual and and wall ride with your goat it's basically like skate with a goat you can also ride skateboards and ride bikes you can pull cars you can do all kinds of really really funny and crazy things basically just all in the name of fun this game by no means takes any skill to play but with that being said it is still tons and tons of fun as you can see by us just basically going around and terrorizing the hell out of the city now as you can see we are now inside where you can actually play goat simulator or um what's it called flappy bird it's a it's their own version of flappy bird so it's pretty interesting you know but like i said there are just tons and tons of things that you can basically fuck around with using your goat as you can see right there there is another achievement using the boulder rock all you got to do it's it's very at the very top of the hill all you got to do is basically kick it down or headbutt it down and try to hit the party with it and you'll automatically get that achievement there is another easter egg for you guys now this is actually the developer's house that we are going into right now and we're basically just going to destroy it this is the developmental house they used or it's supposed to be the house that they used to create goat simulator so that's quite funny in itself but as you can see it's all about just destroying things and getting your combo going and doing anything you can to just mess the world up and make havoc for everybody involved now here is another easter egg guys which i will i will make it a lot shorter due to the uh magic of jump cuts but there is another easter egg where you can basically in the very back of the map right by the boulder that i showed you guys a little bit ago you can actually take what you have to do is you you will find a little area that kind of goes into like a satanic kind of vibe now in order to get the easter egg out of this area 
you basically have to bring three or four guys all the way up to this hexagram and let them chill now you have to bring at least three i think it might be four but then once you do that you will basically upgrade your guy into a satanic goat and yeah just makes it even more fun but there is another easter egg for you guys and we're basically gonna leave this off on some just messing around and playing with the game these are the three achievements i know of or easter eggs that i know of but i'm sure there are plenty and plenty more to actually uh find and explore find the area and now as you guys can see my my goat is now is now a satanic goat but there are all kinds of stuff all over the map that you can mess around with including the uh firework right here which i think i'm gonna go grab yeah fireworks now you can just jump on this and as you can see it will just launch you into the middle of the air and i think i got really lucky here if you guys check this out oh yeah look at that landing all right yeah but guys i'm gonna leave you guys to some more gameplay from goat simulator if i've opened your perspective at all on goat simulator please remember to like subscribe and comment and i will see you guys on the next one peace